Hey there, my name is Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. Now, Nvidia has released a new version of the Jetson Nano. This is a cheaper one at $59 compared to $99 for the original. And this one, the main difference is it comes with two gigabytes of RAM rather than four. So if you wanna find out more, please let me explain. So the original Jetson Nano is the entry point into NVIDIA's range of Jetson boards, and there are quite a few of them, and it's aimed at those who want to play with, experiment with, educate themselves about machine learning, and it costs $99. And I have a full review of that board here on the Gary Explains channel, and I will leave a link to it. So really, there's very little difference between the original Jetson Nano and this one, except that this one has only two gigabytes of RAM, and is $59 rather than $99. So this video is mainly a look at the differences between the two. If you want a much deeper dive, do go and look at that other video. However, I will have a quick overview of this device before we also go on to look at the online training courses that you can get from NVIDIA, which are free, which teaches you about machine learning from their Deep Learning Institute. So let's just remind ourselves of the specs of the Jetson Nano 2 gigabyte board. So the Jetson Nano 2 gigabyte comes with 128 core NVIDIA Maxwell GPU. And of course, that's the key thing for all of these machine learning tasks. It's backed up by a quad core ARM Cortex A57 CPU clocked at 1.43 gigahertz. And there's two gigabytes of RAM in this one rather than the four gigabytes you get in the normal Jetson Nano. And then you've got two uh, gigabit uh, ethernet. You've got the possibility of Wi-Fi. There's USB, HDMI. And of course, there's those 40 GPIO pins, which are in the same layout as the Raspberry Pi, I squared C, SPI, and so on and so on. So a lot of the projects that you could do on a Raspberry Pi, you can certainly port over to the Jetson Nano. There's also a camera connector, which is compatible with the Raspberry Pi camera, micro SD card, and so on. And of course, the Jetson Nano 2 gigabyte developer kit will be priced at $59 and will be available for purchase starting at the end of October 2020. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at some of the differences between the four gigabyte version and the two gigabyte version. So here we have the two Jetson Nano side by side. This is the original Jetson Nano four gigabyte version, and this is the new Jetson Nano two gigabyte version. This one being only $59 compared to $99. And as you can see, both boards do look very similar. The basic idea is you've got this, this module here, which is the Jetson Nano module, and it plugs into this kind of developer board that gives you all the ports and everything. You've got the heat sink uh, here on the top. And so when you look at it superficially, very similar, the two modules, the 40 pins down the side here and then ports here at the front. But there are some differences it's worth noting. First of all, the power. Here you can see there is this barrel uh, plug here and you would get a power supply with this one. OK, uh, or you could power it through uh, micro USB on this one. It's no longer that barrel uh, plug. You've got USB C and you would power, power it with a good USB C uh, power supply, even something like the Raspberry Pi uh, power supply for the Raspberry Pi 4, in fact. And as you can see, also, there are less ports here. So you've got the Ethernet, but these here are USB 3 ports here. In fact, you've only got two USB 2 ports and then one USB three port and then here you've got hdmi and display port here you've only got hdmi and then of course the module itself you've got uh two gigabytes of ram rather than four gigabytes but the actual processor in terms of the overall performance is exactly the same and the pins and the layout is exactly the same here you've got the camera connector and so on there are a few other modifications like some of these headers are missing that you don't have on the other board but the good thing is the software you run on this one runs exactly the same on this one. Talking about software for a moment though, it is worth noting that on this one, the desktop in the standard uh, Linux distribution that you get, which is actually part of the NVIDIA SDK that they give you, uh, is now LXDE, so that it uses less memory rather than the standard desktop that you get on the, uh, on the normal Jetson Nano 4 gigabyte version.
So to coincide with the launch of the two gigabyte version of the Jetson Nano, Nvidia have launched a special Jetson Nano courses and certification as part of their Deep Learning Institute, which is basically their online training uh, center. And you can get uh, two levels of certification, an AI specialist or an AI ambassador. It's all free to sign up and participate. And basically you get loads and loads of stuff, starting with even you know how you connect it all together, right through to some complicated uh, kind of programs that you can run and they show you how to all do all that. And at the end, in fact, you have to kind of write your own little project and submit it. And then they kind of approve the project to say, yeah, you've completed the course and look, you've made a little project and you know uh, what it does. Within approximately 10 to 14 days, you'll receive your project score. So obviously they're going to be maybe a bit overwhelmed by people doing this, but it's a really, really good idea. So what I'm going to do is just show you quickly one of the little uh, exercises they give you to do uh, inside of the uh, Jetson Nano course. Okay, so here's one of the examples of the early courses you get in the Deep Learning Institute, learning about the Jetson Nano. In this case, it's going to teach us how to do some image recognition and it uses a Jupyter Python notebook so you can go through and see exactly how the code is formatted and, uh, and formed and they give you all of the instructions. What we're going to do is just basically step through this uh, one line at a time, run the code. It's important when you run it to wait to this here, the instructions finish, so there it says there, and we'll step through to the next one, and we'll wait to see what this print statement comes out, task with categories, there you go, thumb task with categories. So what this one does is, it, we've because uh, in here you can define the categories here, what I've done is I've kept the original one, which is thumbs up and thumbs down, and there are other ones you can use. So we're basically gonna be able to train our model to recognize a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And the idea is that you take some photos with your webcam, which is connected to the uh, Jetson Nano, you take some pictures with a thumb up, you take some pictures with the thumb down, and then you train the model. And obviously the more pictures you take, the more examples you give it, the more accurate it will be. I'll take about 20, 25 pictures for thumb up, 20, 25 pictures for thumb down, and then train the model, which you can train actually here on the Jetson Nano, there are other alternatives. You can train it in the cloud using uh, NVIDIA's GPUs. You can train it on a PC using kind of, you know, big powerful GPUs. But for this uh, kind of DLI course, Deep Learning Institute course, you can do it actually on the board itself. So we'll keep going down through the different things here. And once you've got to the very end of it, it brings up a little interface that allows you to actually uh, run this. And here it is here. So basically what we've got here, this is the shot of my webcam showing the cupboards up on the wall there of my office. And basically we can have thumbs up here or thumbs down. And what you do is you basically uh, take a picture. So here we're gonna kind of stick my thumb into the picture. There we go. All right, and then we're gonna do add. And that's the first picture added. And then we're gonna take some more, just kind of, you know, different distances, you know, of my thumb kind of showing the thumb up picture, okay? And then it can kind of uh, learn what a thumb up looks like. And of course, it's a bit difficult for it to detect there in some of this because of course that the, the pine cupboards I've got there are quite hard. So let's give it some bigger ones to cope with. Okay, I'm just clicking every time I'm moving, I'm kind of just clicking to show it what a, a thumbs up really looks like. Okay, let's really get some good ones in there. Okay, I've done 30 now, it's more than I intended. Okay, and now we go to thumbs down and we do exactly the same. So here we are, we start adding some thumb down pictures. Okay, same thing, we can just kind of go around here showing it what a thumbs down looks like. Okay, to kind of give it a, an idea of a thumbs down. Some closer ones, there we go. Okay, another 30 there. Okay, and once you've done that, you now go down here to the train, you click the train button, and that will train it on the uh, Nano itself, and that will take uh, several minutes. So I'm gonna hit train, and then we'll come back when that's done. Okay, so the training is finished. As you can see, these numbers tell you here some of the uh, accuracy. Obviously, the more pictures we would do, the better. I've done, as you saw, you know, 30 odd pictures for each one. Now look here, so you can see here it's live. So it's taking the camera feed from uh, the video camera, from the webcam. And here it tells you 
what it thinks about thumb up, thumb down. So here it is, thumb up. And if we turn this the other way, there you can go. Now this has gone thumb up, so you can go it's one, zero, zero, zero chance that it's a thumb up and it's actually a thumb down. We go back up to here and those swap over like that. And this is live. So as I'm moving around, this is actually uh, doing that. So obviously this is just showing you a very simple model of how you can train a Jetson Nano to do uh, different things. And in this case, it was a thumb up, thumb down. There's a whole bunch of these you can do. And when you go through the uh, DLI course, you get to learn to do all these different types of exercises, uh, training, and then uh, inference to, to work out whether your training model has worked. Okay, that's it. My name is Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you like these kind of videos, why not stick around by subscribing to the channel? Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.